uh, I wanted to show you some tips and tricks that you can use uh, to operate lights and light jockey. Um, first of all, if you're new to light jockey or you trying to use it first time, we can select uh, fixtures. For example, we want to select two of these spot moving heads. I um, I right click of one of them and select all of the, I, and I choose select all of this type so it selects all of this uh, then we sh uh, select the shara shara is uh, open and then we raise the intensity then you're gonna you you can see the the moving heads is uh, is on. Then there is a, if you want to create a movement, you go to the movement. If you want your fixtures to move in a certain way or in a certain direction, you choose the direction first. For example, we want the fixtures uh, to move above us right now so I select this position and the fixture is above um, then I go there is a tab called macro I, I click it I select system ellipse and here I can I can choose how how wide the fixture is gonna move in pan and how wide they're gonna move in tilt. I can just do the pan movement or I can do tilt movement. So for example, I want to make a circle movement. I select, I want it to go as much of pan and I want it to go as much of tilt. And then I can select the speed from slow to fast. You can see the moving heads is moving. If I uh, raise the speed, they start moving faster. This is the slow, and I can uh, raise the pan value. If I raise the pan value, they uh, go wider. If I raise the tilt value, they, they go wider in tilt and pan as well. I can just do the tilt movement. If I remove the pan value from here, I remove the pan value, it circles and then I remove the pan value and it does just tilt. You see two fixtures is moving in tilt. If I want to do them, make them move in delay, there is a function uh, called auto delay I select it I can do circular delay segment delay random delay you can do the offsets here you can do the, the adjustment most of the time the simplest way is to just do circular delay and click apply you 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 can choose the count of fixtures here and it's gonna all depend uh, the delay of how many fixtures gonna be for, for now I made the two fixture delay so just two of them is moving in delay. They both doing pan. Uh, I'm sorry, the tilt, but they do it in delay. And when you and when you have a lot of fixtures, it's uh, it looks mm, really nice when you do delay on the fixtures. Um, what else I'm gonna show you here? That's how you create a movement. Then uh, you can disable the movement at any time, even though even if the cue is recorded, you can just go select the fixtures that you want to disable the movement. You go to macro and then you just click no macro and they just stay. Uh, 
then what else you want to do? Ah, there is a function called statics. You select it and you can add here different things or different effects or different functions. For example, I can add colors here. So, if I have many different pictures, I don't want to go to each picture and select uh, colors uh, from, the, from the palette. I can just assign the pictures, uh, the colors here. First, I need to clear the whole thing here. So the pictures and goes in the home mode. Select the pictures that I want to put the colors. Select the color. Uh, uh, if I want to do white, I press white. I don't do anything else, just press white. If you do positions or something, at the same time, the position values is also going to be stored. For right now, we only store color volume. Actually, this is something else. Uh, doesn't show here. But anyway, I selected white and then I choose to which uh, static uh, number I want to assign it to. I can assign it to this one. I right click and I press record and save current scene. Then I write the name white and it saves. Right now if I clear it, if I press here white, it's gonna select the white color. Let me just show you on red. Then I, I, if I do red here, I record red. Red, save it, clear here. Right now if I select red, it goes to red. If I select white, it goes to white. But you have to remember, these keys are not like a flash keys. I just select, it's on and off keys. So when you select red and you select white, it's gonna select the last one that you selected. So usually you have to uh, select red, then select white, and then deselect red. Or if you got confused with all your selections, you can just press release all. This is this option. This uh, statics is very useful. Uh, you can not only add colors, you can add some gobos, or you can uh, add uh, color mixes. For example, if one of the, if you want one picture to be red. If I, I can select here yeah, one picture to be red and another one to be blue and I can save it as red and blue or red blue it's very useful because in a, when you do uh, when you at the live event you want to switch colors fast and you want to mix colors like some of the like your odd pictures to be red and your even pictures to be blue you can uh, pre-program pre it here so you don't have to even select features of world somewhere you you know it's red and blue here just easy also you can you can uh, I, I would usually um, add frost frost function here I write wash or frost I would add that there I would also add the uh, prism function in here. I select prism and I add prism. Save. So you don't have to select picture, go and find the prism function. You just, it's all easy. You have the statics and you just prism off, prism, off, uh, prism on, prism off, prism off, wash on, wash off. Um, so it's very useful too. Also, you can have um, background uh, cues. I think it's also yes. You also can add uh, statics there. So I don't know. If, can you add cues? No, you cannot add cues. You can only add statics in there. So when you create a static uh, scene and you want it to be in background. Basically, this scenes is gonna be on. Oh, let me find this feature and I'll show you exactly what it does. So when I do this, I have a, I have this scene in background. 
everything is clear. I don't have any cues, I don't have any scenes running, but in background, I still have the fixture moving when I added this scene. This is very useful when you want to do a background colors or you can do a background scenes. For example, if your place has uh, um, up lighting, you can use it for up lighting. If you do, if you do live, uh, if you run lights live with the concert or uh, just uh, any different party, and you have your you you have your different cues with the movements and uh, some uh, effects for the for you for example for your moving heads but you also have a, an up lighting around the room which you want to change the colors time to time but keep basically keep them on or if you want to use them on DMX or uh, there are so many, many options you can use it for. For example, if I have an up lighting, I, for example, this Q, Q7 parts, I have them on uh, RGB. I can save it uh, as uh, I can. S I select them. I put a dimmer on, uh, red color on. For example, I can save it as uh, up lighting red. And I don't need uh, to save the cues, so I just select uh, all of this and I save as a sequence. I clear it, then I found this uh, sequence in the list, I can add it here. So, it doesn't matter where I do on a stage, it doesn't matter where I do in, with my moving heads, I can just on and off red colors uh, for the up lighting. And it stays in the background doesn't matter if I do blackout, it's still on. Also, it is very useful to use uh, picture groups function. You can uh, assign uh, different features to different groups. For example, you want to assign your LED lights to one group, you want to assign your uh, moving heads to another group, you want to assign your odd, even uh, uh, odd and even uh, moving heads to different groups. It's very useful for programming. For example, uh, um, I'll show you how to do it. Add a group. If I want to add my moving heads uh, to, uh, to, I want to create odd and even uh, picture group for my moving head. I, I made a new group odd. Then I right click on it. Uh, I can select the picture and then right click add selected feature to this group. Add. I have a uh, row point added to this group. Uh, same thing I can uh, make a group for even and I uh, select the picture that I want to add to even or pictures that I want to add to even group. Then I right click to even and I add selected features to this group. So right now it's very useful. I can have, I don't have to select, like if I have a lot of features, I don't have to go like odd, 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 odd. And then when I program odd, for example, for dimmer, and then I wanna program. Uh, or for one color and I want to program uh, even fixtures for different color and I have to go and select them like this I can just go to picture groups select odd and it selects all of my odd select even it selects all of my even deselect odd and then I have only even selected very useful <laughs>